Religions in EU4 are an integral part of the game. Who doesn't want to see 100% religious unity within their country? Everyone's getting along. A few decades after the start date of EE4, we have the Reformation, and you either wish to avoid or spread the Reformation around the whole of Europe. This is all thanks to a man who stuck a few notes on a church. There's no doubt religions are one of the most important aspects of this game, but what if I told you though that EE4 is missing some really fascinating religions at the start of the game? Now given the way the game was made, it's understandable that we can't add the smaller religions during this time. An example of this would be a province historically that is 40% Catholic and 60% Orthodox would be shown in game as a 100% Orthodox province. Having said this, there still are some major inaccuracies when it comes to religion representation in EU4, and the ones I suggest in this video might just make EU4 a little bit more interesting and could be added into the game. Now I've heard through the grapevine that the Old Minster is a sight to behold. Maybe you could potentially join us in our pilgrimage to this religious building if we get to 100,000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe if you love high quality daily E4 content. Right, let's get into this video. The first religion we are going to discuss that is missing in E4 is perhaps the biggest religion missing in game, and it probably should be added into E4 as a usable religion. I'm going to mainly use Voltaire's Nightmare to show you these religions on the E4 map, so go check out the mod if you want to play some of these in game. Looking at the Voltaire's Nightmare map, you can see here there's a big red blob in the Balkans, in the religious map mode. This religion is known as the Bogomilis, a Bulgarian heresy that arose in the 10th century. After the death of Simeon the Great of Bulgaria, the Bulgarian Empire would go into a period of decline, since the new Bulgarian king, Tsar Peter, was weak and allowed his Greek wife to take control of the country. Although Tsar Peter was seen as a failure, he was able to complete the Christianization of Bulgaria, and he built large monasteries, including on Mount Athos. The Bulgarian clergy lived in luxury, becoming large landowners. The disillusioned Bulgarian peasants did not benefit financially from the Bulgarian Golden Age, and they were taxed heavily to support the growth of the Bulgarian Empire. This led to the birth of Bogomilis, which was a religious movement in opposition to the Byzantine clergy and it was founded by priest Bogomil. The Bogomilist view was that all material objects are evil, they also rejected that Christ took human form, so therefore they also reject the Old Testament, churches, and the cross. 500 years later, this branch of Christianity was still in the Balkans around the area of Bosnia, and is actually very relevant there, with the Bosnian church being separate. In the Voltaire's Nightmare mod, this religion gives your country negative unrest, and lowers cost of stability, which makes sense considering it was popular with the peasantry, and it has this assimilation mechanic. Should this religion be added into E4 though? One historian states that the impact of this religion is greatly exaggerated, and it didn't have popular support and a large following. Instead, it was a small movement with small scattered support, and it was an interesting but small sect. It eventually dissipates with the Ottoman conquest of the Balkans. To add this into E4 is therefore debatable, Given the fact we aren't too sure just how popular it was, but nevertheless, you can play as this religion in the Voltaire's Nightmare mod. What do you guys think though? Should this religion be added into the game with events surrounding it? The next religion we are going to talk about is the Waldensians, and it started in 1173 in Lyon, with its founder being Peter Waldo. They believed the Catholic clergy were unworthy of holding religious office. It was a known thing for a while, but it was not a gigantic movement. And in the early 13th century, a number of Waldenese returned to orthodoxy, and many abandoned their distinctive dress. At the start date of EU4, the last of the Waldensians were confined in mostly French and Italian valleys, which is shown here in this mod. I'm sure they'd have lovely walking holidays though. Should this be added into EU4? It's probably too small of a religious movement to be added in game, but nonetheless it's still interesting to talk about, and maybe you can have some events surrounding it. The next religion I want to talk about is the Fraticelli in central Italy. This again is a very small religion at the start date of EU4, which is why it isn't in the base game, and the religion only has one province in the notoriously known fragmented Voltaire's Nightmare. It originated from the Franciscan Order of the Monks, and they hated the wealth of the church, and dedicated their time to have great respect for poverty. Their founder, Francis of Assisi, was also quite an interesting character, and here's a picture of him talking to the wolf of Gubbio, a wolf that terrorised the Umbrian city of Gubbio until he was tamed by this saint. Looking at these three Christian branches before the Reformation, 
They all came about because of the structure of a Catholic and Orthodox church, with them holding a large amount of wealth, and I find that quite interesting in its own way. And perhaps something could be added in-game to reflect some of these interesting religions, and they could do this through events before the Reformation. It would be interesting to hear your thoughts on this matter though. Let's now talk about some of the religions that are not of Christianity that could potentially be added into the game. In Voltaire's Nightmare, we see some of Muscovy's eastern vassals embrace a completely different religion to the orthodox religion represented in EE4. One example of this is Perm, and the modders of Voltaire's Nightmare have changed the state religion to Uralin Nusko. Doing some research into this religion, which represents the finno uruk people, it was quite complicated to understand, and I couldn't find much in comparison to other religions on this list. What is known about the finno uruk religion is it had many pagan traditions, and in the Voltaire's Nightmare mod, it gives you minus six on rest, which is great to have. One of the final and more well-known religions I want to talk about is the Romavi religion, followed by the pagan Prussians centuries before the start date of EE4. This religion isn't represented in EE4, but in EE3 this religion has one province at the 1399 start date, and it also has one province in Voltaire's Nightmare. It was very prevalent before the Christianization of Lithuania in 1387. The religion asserts the sanctity of nature and ancestor worship. Their rituals take place outdoors, near sacred fires. There's also a bit of mystery behind this religion, and many aren't sure whether the temple of the Romavu sanctuary even existed. Even though this religion was prevalent in Lithuania, once the Teutonic Knights showed up, this religion significantly declined, and it was Christianized significantly in the decades leading up to EU4. I therefore think this pagan religion shouldn't be represented at the start date of EU4, because it's simply too small at this stage. But maybe if you play as the Teutonic Knights or Lithuania, you can have some events surrounding this religion, and the player in some ways could choose to revive this religion and play it in-game. The extended timeline mod has also fleshed this religion out significantly, and you can choose your own personal deities. What do you guys think though? Should the pagan Lithuanians be added into EU4, or is it just too insignificant and not worth Paradox adding it in in-game? The final religion I want to talk about is the Moorusku religion, which is represented in Voltaire's Nightmare as two provinces in Piskov. This religion was taken up by the Estonian tribes, and they emphasised the worship of nature and of earth. Again, I couldn't actually find much about this religion, but we do have some sources about Estonian mythology, with Estonian heroes and Estonian magical objects. One thing I found is that the Estonian tribes had a summer solace and winter solace festival, celebrating through the solar symbols of bonfires, and this is still celebrated to this day. Sadly, all the pagan religions aren't as well documented in comparison to the different Christian branches, and it definitely was a lot harder to find the pagan information out. So therefore, for me, it's more difficult to argue whether they should be added into E4 or not. What do you guys think though? Should any of these missing religions I've mentioned be added into the game? Or are most of them just too insignificant? and it'll just complicate things too much. Let me know in the comments, and if you want a part 2, make sure to like this video and subscribe, as this gives me an indication of interest in the video. Shout out to our Patreons, Jado52, Cargan, Henrique, and Flyerton.